Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Forgotten Friends Friday. I had an idea and um, we are going to mass make it if it works out. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Let's say hi and hugs today to Twyla Sue, Jenny, Melinda, and Rosemary. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, couple of little forgotten friends. Now, remember these pep and gift wrap books? Um, I used a piece of this in the signature for the Alice Journal. So I have that. I have some William Morris. I have Vincent Van Gogh. And I have this Flora one. So I might, I'm going to use a piece of this um, for, it, for this project. And then I have another forgotten friend. So these um, by now should be on my Gail's Favorite Things on my website. Always linked below my videos in the description box. They're awesome. I love playing with those. And then, and then this happened. Now, there's one of you out there that's guilty of telling me that these were there. So, but they've been sitting on my table. They haven't been forgotten friends for long, but <laughs> excuse me, I want it. I really want to play with them. So, these I think will work great. Not this one, six by six. We could do something else with that. But um, these are crafters companion papers. And I think it was this one that. I found at the little shop in Townsend. And then, so it is called Wildflower Nature's Garden. This one's called Summer Meadow. This one's called Botanic Garden. And what I love about them is they're non-directional. And that's what I need for this one. So um, these I found at scrapbook.com. I didn't find them. Somebody else did. And they told me about them. And shopping enabled me. That's what happened. You know, sometimes you just gotta... Gotta go for it. There we go. Um, okay. And then I have a couple other uh, papers over here that I thought I might use too. So, anyway. But, let's do the idea and see... Oh, man. This is pretty. So this is the Summer Meadow one. I don't need the frames. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? These are neat. I love them. They are kind of directional, if you, depending on which way you want your butterflies to go. <laughs> there was one that was a bit more pinks and turquoise, I thought. Find in it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. And it's got these frames, but that's okay. What's the back look like? It's just green. It's just green. Okay, I'm gonna do this one because I think it'll go with some some um, journals that I have coming up. Okay, so my idea. It was like one of those in the twilight of sleep sort of ideas. Oh goodness. I need my scoreboard and I need my cutter, don't I? Yep. Okay, so my thought was, what am I doing? <laughs> Yikes, Gail. Okay, so 12 inches, right? So I'm gonna cut this into four inch strips. There'll be three of them, right? Should be. Thus the mass making. Okay. So there's that little part. Then I'm going to score these at I'm going to score it at six. And then I'm going to flip it over and score it 
at two and a 10. Okay, I really don't know. Someone may have done this and I saw it somewhere, but I don't, I don't remember it if I did. Okay, so I'm, that's gonna be like that. This is gonna fold up and this is gonna fold up. It's not exactly how I envisioned. I envisioned it longer. So, so what we could do, perhaps, I hate to lose the butterfly, but I'm going to. Okay, so what if, What if I scored it at two and a half? And scored this one at 10. Okay. So then that would go that way. This would go up like that. What I wanna do ultimately is have an over the page something. So I wanted to have a double pocket over the page like that, but I was picturing it longer. So I guess we'd go like this. Which works also. This is very much like something that Rachel did on her um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. But I do kind of like this one because besides that, I want to make this a paper clip. So let's work on this one and then we'll see how we want to make all the others, okay? Okay, I have a paper clip. I also have, I have some, um, just craft cardstock. I am going to do this about, I'm going to cut it at about two. And maybe make it, let's go about three and a half. I'm gonna do a couple of them. Two by three and a half is what I did. I'm just gonna leave this one. Okay. And let's then fold this in half. Better have a bone folder for this little project, I think. Let's put the paper clip on it. And then it's going to go up inside of here. So this can paper clip on is my thought. And hmm. and you could, if you put a little slit right here, you could have the, you know, the top of the paper clip showing through like, like that. So you could tie something on there if you wanted but I think I'm gonna just go with this and see what happens okay so I'm just gonna put Fabri-Tac on my clip and on the paper around it as well I'm coming up on a redo the nails day so if I goober them up today no biggie <laughs> So now I'm going to lay that in the middle, like that, and then I'm going to glue this side. Put it on the clip too, and then that's going to go down like that. 
and that needs to dry. While it's drying, let's do a little thumb notch on each side. And then I'm hoping that the that, that gift wrap paper will be heavy enough. I'm not sure how that one's going to go, but we're going to try it. So while that's still drying, I'm just going to give the pockets an edge. Yeah, I was just, I just thought this might be kind of fun to play with. I was thinking this would be longer though. I guess if you made a shorter pocket, oops, whoopsie, I got it on my, got it on my mat. I try not to do that, but I did. Oh, and it's not sticking anyway. That. Let's grab a glue book. That's a better idea. Um, yeah, I guess if I made... We'll try one. Might as well try one with a shorter pocket, maybe. Will be more what I had in my brain. But I just want to play with these papers mainly. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I'm, I'm worried about putting it over the top of a page right now because it's wet. So, okay, let's, let's look at this one. Again, this is, this is feeling familiar from Rachel's challenge. And then she, I think she, um, did the edge punch on this edge. So we'll make one like that. Although hers weren't a paper clip, I don't think. I think you um, you glued this small edge as like a, a up tuck type pocket. Right, so let's put the paper clip in there. I'm going to paper clip this one because you could still tuck something on the up tuck part, I think. It still work. Okay. Paper clip. On this end. See how it works. Let's just give it a whirl. anxious to see if that if that gift wrapping paper will work we shall see okay meanwhile I should have or could have. I guess I'll still be able to distress that a little bit. I know it's very sad to um it's very sad to cover up that butterfly. Yeah, sometimes you just can't have it all, you know. It's really pretty paper though. I love it. Okay, 
here is that one. So I'm going to set them over here to dry so we can move on to what's next. Okay, so let's try one of these. I'm kind of feeling the Vincent Van Gogh today. Ooh, that's good for fall. I can tell I've already used it. Um, what else do we have? That would be... Um, I think each of these... I was going to say each has two, but I don't think so. That's pretty. Let's try that one. And it is um, perforated, so you can pull it out easily, theoretically. Yep. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I emailed my son, because I think I told you guys the, um, that Amazon made it so you can't have a search bar anymore like on my link for my affiliate. So, um, yeah, they took that off, which I think is kind of crummy, but whatever, whatever. Anyway, um, let's see. I'm going to flip this and, and just, um, you can see it's wrapping paper, but I'm going to flip it and see if I can rip this. I like using just one quadrant. Um, anyway, they took, a, they took that off. So any affiliate, um, commissions or whatever that, that I earn when you guys shop through my favorite things, it has to be a listed item. So for instance, all these four books, I had to send them to my son so he could make items out of them. Well, he is in he is in Phoenix right now with my granddaughter Marin. She's got a volleyball tournament this weekend. We are hoping, we've got our fingers crossed that we're going to be able to watch it on some sort of streaming service or something. We're hopeful. Okay, now this is more than 12. What is this? This is 13 and a half. So it might work a little better. Now the pockets are going to be white, but oh well. Am I going to be able to fit that in here? No. Well, let's see if I can do this anyway. So I'm going to try and cut it at four again. move it down. Yeah, okay, well, it kind of worked. Ooh, I like this thicker one too. Let's just see. Let's just see what we get. Let's see, where's my scissors? I hope this is going to work. Okay. How wide is this guy? It's about five and three quarters. That's not going to work. That's going to be a scrap. Okay. So this is thin enough. I don't need to score it. So there's that. This is kind of more what I had in mind, lengthwise. Okay, so it's got a little, it's got a little goober there, but that's okay. I would be probably putting something over that anyway. Okay, first let's try the paper clip and see if it works okay. Okay. Let's 
So all that to say about my my son being in Arizona and all, I don't know when he's going to get those items up, but I'm filmed ahead, so I'm hoping by the time this airs, he'll have them on there. They're pretty reasonably priced, too, I feel like, so, um, so that's nice. Okay, we're just going to put that right there, and then... Glue this side. Okay. Hmm, that feels like it's gonna work okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. Before we get too much farther, I'm gonna take this one and try it and see how it goes because I think this should be dry. Okay, now the little oh inside paper. Kind of got to get it just right. Yes, that is going to work. Okay, and then you have one on the other side too. Cool. Okie dokie. Just want to make sure it was working before I went too much further. I thought it should. Okay, let's... You know what? I'm not going to clip those because those are going to get something put on there because of this situation. Just going to distress this edge. And then we'll glue them down. And that one will be somewhat done other than it needs needs a little something along there you know a label or something of course I will distress the rest of it too but I didn't think you guys needed to watch me distress everything have pockets. I printed out some labels there upstairs to Fussy Cut that I think might go right on there. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, we have, let me just put the cap on that since it's goobering all over the place. Um, one thing what did I do with it? Here it is. I want to make one, or actually probably two, for my um, Alice in Wonderland journal. This is I did. This is a piece of scrap of paper that I knew I wouldn't use in my journal because this is too big. Um. I think that'll work. I don't know. Okay, let's just let's just do some measuring here. And I think Okay, I think this will work. I don't I don't want to cut Alice at all. <laughs> so five and a quarter. That still should fit on a page okay, right? Oh, look, it's ripped. Well, I'll have to fix that. Boy, that's just bare. So I think I'll take a little off of this edge. Actually, more than a little. Four is right there. Maybe... Okay, that's okay. Alice isn't, see, yeah, she'll be fine. Okay, then we have Mr. Mad Hatter. 
I did four this way, we'd lose part of his hat and hand. I think I might be able to get away with this. It's just, it's not quite five. Yeah, that'll be okay. Let's make a couple of those. Okay. I think I'm gonna do this one like we did the longer one. is one and three quarters. One and three quarters that way. And then how about about three inches this way? Yeah, that works out. That's great. Okay, cool. There's that. Um, then this one, again, I'm going to do one and three quarters here. And it's always tea time is going to be upside down, but that's okay. We can cover it. So I'm going to go right here because that leaves the writing. Okay. Just making sure that wasn't too long. Whoops. Oh my goodness. I have things out of place because I have the black ink sort of at the ready. <laughs> oh goodness. So, okay, these. Let's do a little thumb notch. And I'm gonna do a bigger thumb notch on this one because it's so wide. Okay. That now on this side, I'm not going to do any any fancy edge because I like that edge that's there. So basically, all we have to do is do the, um, do the inside. Okay. A lot of movement of stuff happening here, people. I keep, have a pile of papers over there. Okay, we need to do these. What'd I do? like three and a half or something let's just do let's just do three because then we can get four of them and that should fit I'm just using small paper clips you could use a bigger paper clip if you wanted to too but So last night, Katie had a basketball game, and um, they won. She did good. It was their crosstown game. We just watched on NFHS because it is it was so snowy and lots of accidents along the way. So we didn't venture out to it, but so we just watched it on TV. But it was good. She rolled her ankle at one point which wasn't great but she went to the training room I don't know they moved it around a little bit I guess or something and she was back out there so she's a tough girl that one she is a tough girl and Maddie this weekend has his regional wrestling so I'm sure we'll be getting videos from our daughter on that it's it's 
it's really weird to watch wrestling like on NFHS because you know it's um it's by weight class and so you know you never know when he's gonna come up you know you're watching three hours of wrestling and not knowing when he's gonna come up so the kids video it for us which is awesome and uh yeah, so he's got that this weekend, and um, and then Maren's got her volleyball. So uh, he said, uh, my son said that she has practice today, late afternoon. So um, he's hoping then, oh, we still have to do the pockets. He's hoping then, I feel like this needs a bigger, bigger piece. Let's just do that. Um, He's hoping to find out about any any streaming that will happen. Okay, and I'm gonna do this at, let's do this one at four and then I can get three out of here. Yeah, so I don't know how that, it seems like we're going to have a lot of sports to watch this weekend. We'll see. Be fun. So I'm hoping they all do well. Mike said he looked at the schedule Joni sent and they have to have him at the gym at 6.30 in the morning. We're <laughs> like, oh boy, that's not great. That's early. Oh, man. But, you know, they do what they have to do. Yeah, and I'm so excited for my son to have time with his daughter. Just the two of them is, is cool. Although, of course, I wish her mom could have come too. And her brother's at college, so he's in the midst of, you know, classes and classes and work and all of that so it's just the two of them very special I told my son soak up every moment it's what we all should be doing every single day because you just you never know you know especially <laughs> when you are many of our age you know <laughs> you never know and so Enjoy every moment. Here we go. Okay. 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 So I really wanted to get those done. So that's happy. Let's distress the front of this one. And then we'll glue down the pockets. And then I have one more paper pack I want to show you that I um that I want to make one out of. Make one or three or something. I think this is going to be fun though. Fun little pieces to add in. We'll make the one more and if we still have time we'll do a little decorating. How's that sound? Okay, so there's that one. Go over here and dry. And then there's you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, can't get the can't get the pin to go. Okay. So then the last paper pack I wanted to I I haven't had this very long, so this is sort of not a forgotten friend. But I don't want it to be a forgotten friend. So I'm gonna tear into it here today. I'm excited to look at it too. So this paper pad I got from Triple V Vintage on Etsy. It's Stamperia, the backgrounds, Rose Parfum. Parfum? I don't know. Anyway, isn't it pretty? It's my colors. You know, those are kind of the colors that I love so much. This is pretty. Ooh got the same on both sides. I think that's my top choice so far. Look how pretty. 
Isn't that going to be pretty with part of it folded up for a pocket? Yeah. Oh, this is fun. I love this one. But I'm not going to hoard it. I'm going to use it. Ooh, that was cool too. Okay, so that's what we've got. I mean, it, that one is speaking to me. This one. So, let's... I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Should we just do four, four, and four? I think so. I want to get the most out of it I can. So, yeah, let's just do that. We'll do it like we did the first one. Or at least one of them that way. Since that was kind of my... The idea that hit me in the night. Okay, so I am going to go six, two, and ten. I didn't flip it over, but that's okay. I think it'll still work. Okay, and then pull those up. Ooh, isn't that pretty? That one's begging for some lace, isn't it? Yeah, I should have flipped it over. It would have would have folded better. Okay, so there's one. This one, let's do it. Let's do it this way. And let's do three worked pretty well. Three. And then let's do flip it over and do and do two. So this one's gonna go this way and have a pocket that way. Oh, that's so pretty. I yell I love it. <laughs> I really love that paper. Okay, and then this one, what do we let's do this one like the first one, except the other way. So let's do six here, flip it, make your life easier, and do two and ten. Okay, so we should be done with the scoreboard, I believe. Okay. You know, the old valleys to mountains, mountains to valleys. That's what we got going here. And then tuck some little tags in this. Won't that be cute? Oh, I think it'll be so cute. Okay. Um, let's do... I'll do this one on the, on the big one. Let's do that. So now it's just a matter of gluing on our gluing on our paper clips. Do we want to I'm gonna go ahead and edge punch this too. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. Just, let's just do it. Sorry, I'm having trouble lining up. I'm at an awkward angle. Oh, darn. I did it. I did what I didn't want to do. There we go. Okay. I just put that all in my lap. It did not go in my hand as planned. <laughs> oh, 
okay, brush it off on the floor. You know, that's how I roll. Okay, let's just do all our punching real quick here. That also went in my lap. I'm the messy crafter today. But I'm excited about all these. I think the different papers are really fun and So then we'll have have a bunch to decorate as we go too. Okay, so now back to this. I'm gonna glue that down. Get rid of the punch. Get rid of the bowl folder. So still snowy here today not snowing but it's uh it's just cloudy and kind of bleh out there um but yeah kind of nice to have have no snow it's not supposed to snow the rest of next week so i'm hoping we might be able to get to katie's next basketball game We'll see. I mean, it's kind of been melting and freezing. And if we go to her game, we have to come home at dusk. And I mean, we could spend the night, I suppose. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, two more. And then let's decorate a little bit. I'm not going to decorate my Alice ones because my stuff is upstairs from fussy cutting, of course it is. Okay. Try to center your clip. It's just gonna go on a little easier. Had a fun message from my friend Deb. She's going to come over and do some crafting next month because she's retiring. Woohoo! If you watch this, Deb, I'm so excited for you. Yeah. It will be good. Let the fun begin, you know. <laughs> Not that you don't miss it a little bit, because I do. Um, mostly for me, working at the college, I miss the students and the faculty and staff, you know, just the people. I still have dreams sometimes about work. But, um, but yeah. There's, there's parts you'll miss, that's for sure. That is not the best of paper clips, I have to say. Not the best at all. It's a little, it's a little bumpy, so try and use flat ones if you can. Okay, you are just and be a little bit of a pain. So I am going to, for this one, I'm just gonna grab a clamp to make sure that stays down. All righty then, where are we, my friends? Let's see what time it is first. Okay, we've got like 10 minutes. We could probably get one, get one, um, 
decorated, right? Um, this just needs lace. That's really all it needs. And I think this is going to go great in my um, Nana's Garden journal. hit every piece every kind of paper that I wanted to with this project so that's happy so I hope you like these I hope you'll give them a try yourself and everything Okay, let's now find some lace. Maybe something up here. Oh, this would be sweet. This heart lace would be nice. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, but I think that says Nana right there. I love, you know, when I text the kids, we're going to want two of these, one for each side. When I text the kids, good luck or whatever, and I get back the, thanks, Nana. <laughs> I love it. I'm very happy with my name. So thank you, Addie, for naming me all those years ago. Yep, Addie was... Addie was the first one to call me Nana, even though Aiden was three months older. He hadn't called me anything yet. <laughs> so, yeah. I do like Nana. And I have to say, part of it has to do with how they say it, you know? They always say it so sweetly. Nana. And Katie calls me nanny sometimes. My son-in-law, Chad, he calls me nanny banani. <laughs> oh, we're, we're big on nicknames in this family, I can tell you. Nanny banani. Oh, that's just sweet. You know, it's just, it's just sweet. Okay. I also, as soon as we get this on, I want to check the one that's with the pep and paper and see how it is now that it's dry. Okay. Well, there's that little sweet thing. And all ready to, all ready to go over the top of a page. Oh, I just love that. Yay. Okay, so let's grab all our other ones. And I just wanted to see how this is, how this is doing. It's doing good. Got to make sure that the thing is open. Okay, let's, let's work on this one a little bit. These two I have to wait. Probably on these two, all I'm going to do is I need a label over that. I, and maybe a label there or something, or up there. I don't know. We'll work on that with the Alice, <laughs> Alice journal. But we've got quite a few on the on the go here, though. Um, I'm gonna kind of. 
over that spot. Okay, um, I was thinking Carol Cuts has some really, um, you know, some floral decorative labels. I don't know. I was thinking like maybe something like that. Let's see what else she has in here. Ooh, I love this one too. And it's the same. Okay, let's do those on there. Carol Cutts Design, K-U-T-Z. Gosh, my hands are already dirty today. It's gonna be, it's gonna be one of those days where I can't get them clean. <laughs> I just washed them before I had lunch. Let's see, I think this wants to go this way. Okay. And then this one. Well, depending on what journal we put this in, we could put a word across there or something if we wanted to, too. So, but I'm going to consider that decorated for now. I just want to make sure we're going to go properly over a page. Yeah, so this paper works, guys. And I like, I like the length of that and everything. The only drawback to this is it's got white on the back. That's the only thing. But I do I do like it. I can't get it off now. Why? There. I don't know. Weak. <laughs> okay. Um, how are we doing? I think we're gonna call that a video, guys. I hope you like those and the idea I mean you can you could make little bitty one of the ones of these too as long as it's the size of your paper clip then it's a it's a good method for for your paper clips you know what I just thought of this you could go sideways with this too right Am I going in there right? Yep. Okay. I mean, you could go sideways and have a side tuck there, right? On these shorter ones. Well, that's another option that I hadn't thought of until just then. Now that one's too long. It'll have to go at the top of the page. But anyway there you go so forgotten friends friday some papers that i just wanted to either use because they've been forgotten or you know not forget them so have a grateful day everyone be kind always we'll see you in the next video bye